What's going on guys? Noah from Kicking Their Bass TV. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video and I hope you guys are having a great Sunday. So let's go ahead and hop into the video on what I'm gonna be doing today. Well, I know you guys love the tip video, so I'm bringing a few um, into action right now. And um, pretty much what I'm gonna go over today is I'm gonna give you some winter tips. And I'm pretty much gonna give you the tips on what I think, what baits you should bring um, to catch those winter bass. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the middle. I like to break it down, you know. I wanna break it down to where I'm fishing on the bottom, I'm fishing in the middle, or I'm fishing on the top, you know, those fish are gonna be staged different every time you're on the water, and you just gotta figure out what those fish are doing and um, really key down in on it. So I'm gonna go over a few baits that I really, I really like, not only in ponds, but also on lakes. All these um, techniques I wanna show you guys will definitely work on the water, work on the lake, and will always work on the pond. So um, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and thank you guys for clicking on the video and watching. for this, um, I guess you could say, section of the water column. We're gonna cover the middle water column and the bait that I have on right now is actually just a little crankbait. It's a little square bill and um, another bait that would be really good is a jerk bait, um, but it's gonna be suspending jerk bait. So it's gonna go down a little bit um, into the water column, the mid water range, and it's gonna stay. It's not gonna float back up. It's gonna be suspended. Um, those are two great baits to catch those fish that are in the middle water column. Um, definitely if those fish are feeding on some bait. And I know, say I'm talking about ponds and you guys are like, no, uh, most ponds don't have bait. Some of them do, you know, some of them actually have some bait, which I know that sounds a little weird. I would think it, th that they wouldn't, but some ponds actually do have bait. And uh, most ponds already have bluegill and stuff. So they're already keen in on those little bait fish to go trigger and, um, go attack. So definitely a crankbait and a jerkbait. And the crankbait that I'm using is gonna be one that's gonna, I wanna, wanna have a little tight wobble and it's gonna have some rattles in it. Um, if I'm fishing like a pond, most of the time the ponds are really dirty in the water. And I, and I like a crankbait that's gonna be a little different color. Um, that's kind of like red or either if it's yellow, something that's gonna kind of pop, that's gonna stick through that water um, if the clarity is not the best. But you can also pick a bait, um, like a regular shad color bait. Shad color baits are always great. Um, I would recommend those pretty much in clear water and dirty water. They work great um, either way, just because it's perfectly imitating that bait fish's color. But that's the biggest key is matching the hatch. And that's when um, jerk bait comes into play a lot as well. Um, the jerk bait, you're gonna work a little bit slower. And like I said, it's a suspending jerk bait. Um, so that's gonna hit the mid water column. And the thing about the jerk bait is you can work it regular fast because a crankbait, you're sitting there reeling the whole time. A jerk bait, you can throw it out there and you, know, you can twitch it a few times, you can pause it. You know, that's gonna, like say the fish are really lethargic that day. That's, that's gonna, I mean, it's gonna be a lot slower so the fish can grab it if they're really um, just out of it and the fish are really not wanting to cooperate, not wanting to bite very well, so they're really finicky. So the jerkbait's really good for that. And the jerkbait, you can also reel. You can just straight up reel a jerkbait. Um, that's really great. And see, a jerkbait, you can work so many ways. So those are the two baits that I would throw um, in the middle water column of the water. And now moving on to the baits that I would throw on the bottom, um, you can you can either throw like a shaky head with a little tiny finesse worm. That's really great. Um, really finesse approach to those bass, especially if they're finicky. They'll usually always bite a shaky head. Um, then you have a jig, um, which is always great, similar to a shaky head, but it has that bigger bulky profile that sometimes you'll end up catching this bigger fish on it. Then you have the wobble head, which you guys know I love. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know I absolutely love the wobble head and I catch a lot of fish on it. It's a phenomenal bait. I actually have some on my site if you want to go check them out. There's a link to my website down below. Um, and I have many videos on it. Um, that's a really great bait as well. But you're all, all those, all three of those baits right there, you're working on the bottom. And that's just some of my wintertime favorites. Sometimes the fish just don't want to bite or sometimes the fish are just really sucked to the bottom and they're not wanting to move you know they're really sitting down and they're just not wanting to cooperate with moving baits uh, so sometimes you just have to slow down throw a bait on the bottom and just slowly drag it um, to get the bite so i hope you guys enjoyed those tips but before i stop talking about all this i actually have one more bait and this bait is pretty much good for the top the mid and the lower water column of the bait and or of the lake and the bait is a chatterbait. 
And I know a lot of you guys have seen the chatterbait and you're, you're thinking, Noah, that's something they usually throw out there and you just reel it back in. Yes, you can do that, but the chatterbait, it allows you to do all different types of things. You can throw it out there, let it sink, let it hit the bottom. You can rip it off the bottom. You can slowly roll it on the bottom. You can also throw it out there, reel it in the midwater column. That's great as well. Then you can throw it out there and start reeling it, I mean, right away, and you can be working. So you, wherever those fish are at, say they're on the bottom that day, you're going to want to be throwing that chatter bait, letting it sink to the bottom, and that's how you can trigger those fish. But say the fish are kind of chasing some bait, they're in the middle water column, um, that's what you'll do. You'll, you'll just throw it out there, maybe count it one to two seconds down. All right, it's in about five foot range of water um, below the surface. Start reeling it. You're catching those fish that are in the middle water column that may be suspended. So guys, that's just some um, quick tips that I hope you guys really um, acknowledge some of those and really learned a lot from that and definitely all those baits that I mentioned are really great winter baits they're some of my favorites um, definitely the chatter bait I really use a chatter bait pretty much all the time and if you want to check out one of my chatter bait videos one of my recent tutorial videos I have over the chatter bait and I'll throw the link in the description below and you guys can go check that out but if you guys got some tips out of this video please give the video a thumbs up and comment below what you want to see next um, and if you enjoy these tutorial videos I mean let me know guys um, just leave a comment um, and I really appreciate everyone's comments comments everyone that likes my videos comments down below I know I've said this a thousand times but I just want to stress it to you guys how much it means to me it really means a lot um, but yeah sometimes I might not reply to your comments but that's not because I'm ignoring you I will see the comment but I want to comment on all the comments at once so I'm not really leaving anyone out um, so if I don't get back to your comment I'm sorry just keep on trying keep commenting on some of my videos and I'll be sure to get back to you at some moment um, but thank you guys so much for watching like I said please give the video a thumbs up comment below to see um, on some more ideas and definitely check out my channel for some more videos and click that subscribe button. See you guys in the next video.